Hello and welcome back to this What If series and today I'm going to go and do it a little bit differently. I'm going to go back to front and I'm doing the video first before I go and do the matching blog because I feel really fired up about this one. So today it's all about what if you said yes. Now several years ago when I first started out in business I was a personal trainer and fat loss coach and we had a guy came to speak at the the, um, the venue that I worked at and he'd started this brand new kind of um, uh, movement called Say Yes More and part of his mission was he'd given up his job and he was traveling around the world all over the world and he was traveling a thousand mile journeys on any form of unmotorized transport. So he had swum a thousand miles down some river, he had traveled a thousand miles on an elliptigo, he had um, uh, rode a thousand miles, he had skateboarded a thousand miles, and it was all about really finding that opportunity to say more, yes more to life. Because why do we say no to an opportunity? Now sometimes clearly we're gonna say no because it's not something that interests us. But how many times do we say no because we're fearful? And what happens if we said yes? So what happens if we said, yes, I'm gonna go and speak to that person at the bar just to see if they fancy having a drink with me? Or what happens if we say, yes, I'm gonna apply for a new job and see what happens? Or what happens if we said, yes, I'm gonna do that new hobby? Or what happens if we say, yes, I'm gonna pack up and I'm gonna go traveling around the world for a year? Or what happens if we say, yes, I'm gonna come off of social media for an entire month and see if I can have a new conversation with my family? Saying yes opens up so many more doorways. If only one of those doorways is just to show you what you don't like. But when we say yes, we're opening up so, we're opening up to more expansion, to experiencing more of life, to knowing that we're gonna have far less regrets because at least we attempted it. We, we didn't just say we were gonna try it, we actually went out there and we did something different. So what are you, why are you not saying yes? I guess that's the first thing we need to have a look at. What are you saying no to when really you'd love to say yes? Maybe it's just how you use your time. So if you have a look at your time now, you know, wh what are you saying yes to? Are you saying yes to new experience? Are you saying yes to looking after your health? Are you saying yes to going out with friends? Are you saying yes to leaving work early so you've got a better life? You know, are you saying yes to, you know, I'm going to go part time because I actually want more time with my family? It really is that simple, isn't it? but it seems so difficult because we say uh, that a yes is our conditional. I can say yes if. I can say yes if I put time, if I can make time in a diary. I can say yes if my spouse agrees. I can say yes if my boss agrees. I can say yes if I can save up enough money. I can say yes if, I can say yes if. But in one of the other blogs I put in there, but what if we couldn't use if, when or but? What if you said yes and you worked it out as you went along? What if when you said yes that that fire of desire just was lit and you found the next way and the next way and the next way and each logical step just kept pushing yourself forward and propelling yourself forward. What I'm gonna do on the bottom of this video, as long as, as, long as excuse me, as well as sharing my blog link, I'm gonna share a, a link to a YouTube video that I listened to this morning on my dog walk. Uh, a video where Oprah has been interviewed at Stanford University. And this is kind of what really propelled me forward because in the moments that I was listening to that, that video clip, I think it's about an hour long, as you'd expect from Oprah, Oprah, there was truth bomb after truth bomb after truth bomb. There was her commitment from a very, very young age of trusting that instinct in her, in, in her gut. And it's not okay to turn around and say it's all right for her because it wasn't all right for her. She was born up, you know, brought up in Mississippi. She was black. It was apartheid. There was all these things around her. She was born up in poverty. She was sexually abused. She gave birth and the, and the baby died. You know, she had a horrific upbringing. But she knew there was more for her. And at 16, when she just got a random opportunity to be on the radio, that was the, 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 the projection. And the reason that she got onto TV was because they wanted to sack her from the radio. And the minute she stepped onto the TV screen and was interviewing somebody, she said, I knew, I knew that was my platform. I knew that was the way that I was gonna get my message out. And time after time after time, she comes back to that internal GPS that we've got, our emotions that say, does this feel right? So when we're saying no, 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 why are we doing that? Where are we feeling ourselves contracting by not experiencing those stuff? We know sometimes we're gonna get 
uncomfortable situations. We know that there's going to be times when we're going to get hurt. But as Brene Brown reminds us, we must be able to experience the downside, the fear, the anger, the, the sadness in order for us to fully experience the true, deep joy and passion that life gives us as well. We need to stop avoiding hurt because we're going to get hurt. Things are going to be challenging for us. We're going to lose people we love. We're going to maybe find times when we haven't got money or we're going to find times when maybe we're struggling for places to live or whatever. There are going to be times that are going to be challenging. But there are people that do that and come out of the other side so much sort of bigger and better with this, this determination to, to, to succeed at life, to live life and not exist at life. So I really don't know if any of that's just made sense because it's really just been thought processes that have been going on since I listened to the Oprah show and then just having conversations with people in my group this afternoon. But I please encourage you, what happens if you say yes? Say yes to the date, say yes to the experience, say yes to the new job, say yes to the new hobby, say yes to loving your body, say yes to speaking your mind, say yes to living and say no to existing. And I would love to know if you do that. What happens for you when you say yes? yes more. Until tomorrow, I'll see you again.